Hello everyone, I am Chad here again at Red Tone Studio. I'm back to bring you the next round of mic shootouts with again, the newest mic in my locker, the Warm Audio WA-47. You can go back here and you can watch where I shot this mic out against my AKG C414 and also an MXL 990. Today, it is going up against the MXL V67G. So diving right in, the MXL V67G is a $100 mic you can still pick up just about anywhere. These are available all the time on the used market as well for about 50, 60 bucks, just like the MXL 990. Now, unlike the 990, the V67G is taller, and if they didn't paint it green and gold, it might look a bit more professional. I have seen some of these limited edition versions that are your standard silver. I've shot this mic out against others in my mic locker previously. You can go see one of those older videos up here. I believe it is still a great mic for the price. It is said to have a tube-like tone, which probably has something to do with whatever mic it is they're trying to emulate. But this is a Class A mic with no tube in it, and it only needs phantom power from your interface or your preamp. Speaking of tube mics, the mic it is up against today is the Warm Audio WA-47. And if you've been watching my recent videos, you've seen a lot of this recently, so I won't go into too many details. This mic, unlike the V67G, is an actual tube mic with an external power supply that has a pattern switch, which we'll keep in cardioid for this test. It also comes with a 7-pin mic cable, and it comes with a shock mount as well. This mic comes in around about $1,000, but we all know how cheap I am, so rest assured I did not pay full price for either one of these mics. Now, the rules of the shootout are simple. I'm gonna set these mics with their diaphragms as close together as possible and use them to record a few sources into. This is including male baritone vocals, some spoken word, a drum room, and then we'll go a little bit crazy this time and we'll do an electric guitar amp. So, if there are other sources that you'd like to hear between these two mics, let me know down below. And while you're down there, with your comments, hit subscribe. Both of these mics will be going through the same preamp. This time I'm going to be using the WA-273 for warm audio. And then it'll go into my interface, which again is a QU-16 from Allen & Heath. I'll do my best to level match them at each stage and then also normalize them in the video. So let's jump in. I'll just have them labeled mic A and mic B until I come back and give you my impression and answer. First up is spoken word. This is a mic test between the Warm Audio WA-47 and the MXL V67G. Which mic do you like better? Obviously the MXL is on the top and the Warm Audio is on the bottom. Now you're the kind of trouble I want And you're the kind of trouble I crave The love you gave to me, baby Will put me in the grave Now you're the kind of trouble I want And you're the kind of trouble I crave the love you gave to me, baby, will put me in the grave.
All right, I am back. So what did you think? Could you hear the difference? Do you know which one is which? Pause the video now and put your answers down in the comments. And then let me know if you were correct. And if you forgot to hit that subscribe button last time you were down there, you might as well hit it now. It doesn't cost you a dime and it lets me know if what I am doing is still worth doing. All right, drum roll please. Mike A, which I liked on all of the sources, of course, was the Warm Audio WA-47. That means the loser here again today is the MXL V67G, though it really held its own on some of these sources. To me, it's hard to describe why I like the WA-47 better. Talking about sounds is like dancing about colors, and I hate using the same old terms like warm or rounded, but <laughs> that said, didn't the WA-47 sound warm and rounded to you? Haha, <laughs> you know it did. It just has this overall finished sound, and especially for vocals, it didn't sound like it would take much just to get it right in the mix. Like I mentioned before, the V67G held its own in this matchup, and for a tenth of the price, it is a strong contender. I've used it on some of my music that I've produced in the past with great results. But the WA-47 is now my go-to mic. Do you agree? If you think I am completely wrong, let me know down in the comments. So, thank you so much for watching. I think the next one up is my Lewitt 240 mic up against my Warm Audio WA-47, just to see how it stacks up. Keep your eye open for that one, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>